Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today in this tutorial, I am going to talk about Next.js 13. As you guys already know, Next.js already released its next version, which is Next.js 13. And with this version, Next.js is going to change many fundamental things of it. So today I am going to discuss about few major changes of it. So here, as you can see, this is the Next.js.org website. And here we have this Next.js 13. So let's click on get started and here we need to go to this documentation and here if you see this guide then it will install next.js 13 but it will not have the changed features as those features are currently experimental so to get those features you need to go to the beta version documentation of it so how we can go there we need to click here so here you can see that next.js 13 introduces app directory and which is better right so now let's click here so this is the next.js beta documentation and here we will see the documentation related to the experimental features let's click on get started and here we can see this command with this command we can install next.js 13 with the experimental features so here as you can see this experimental app flag so let's copy this code and now let's go to this react directory and create our project so now hit enter and here we need to provide our project name i will name it as next 13 demo now hit enter so our project has been created and here is our project so here first thing we can see that we have this app directory and within this app directory we can see layout and page so this is the new introduction of the app directory and within this app directory we will create our complete app so this is where all the files and folders of our app will stay and instead of index.js here we can see page tsx so i am not going to use typescript so let me change it to js and for the layout also i am going to change it to js and i'm not going to use any type here so that's okay now let's run our app and here you can see that you have enabled experimental feature app did in next.js config so this is the part which is activating this experimental feature so here by default if you install the app by using this command which is not the experimental app that time you will not have this configuration in next config file so you need to put this command in next config and then you can use this app directory to use all these features which i am going to use so that's how you can test out the experimental feature but as we have already installed experimental app so we have this thing already configured and along with it we have this page js and layout js so let me open this localhost 3000 so here we can see our app right and here let's get rid of all the things and here we can see our app is running so first here we can see that we don't have index.js instead of the index.js we have this page.js which is the main file of our app and along with that we have this layout.js and this layout.js is responsible for creating the layout of the app so we don't have the underscore document js file to handle the layout instead we have this layout.js which is pretty straightforward and here we can see the title and other things so here we can change the title of our app and here is our body so here first i am going to provide a navigation which will be part of a layout because that main navigation will stay for every page so that's why i am going to create a navbar component and I'm going to use that here and I will create that just in a moment but before that let me wrap this children within a div and now here let's create navbar.js and in this navbar component I'm going to return this so here let me import that and now let's see so here I can see the nav now let's provide navigation here and for that we have link for linking purposes so here we need to import that link from next link and here we can provide the link so now we can see that for the product it is showing the 404 error because we haven't created that so let's create that 
and for that here we can create products directory so whatever the link we will have we need to provide that directory and within that directory we need to create this page.js not the index.js as we have done previously but with this new feature we need to create this page.js and here let's provide products page text so here now we can see we have this products and it is navigating properly so that's how the layout is working here and now i have installed tailwind css in my project and that you can do from here so in the documentation within this styling section you have this tailwind css and you have this step by step guide to install this tailwind css to next.js and this is pretty much similar as before so that's why i have skipped that part and here you can see that the styling of it has been applied so now let me provide some styling for this navbar so here i can provide some padding and a background color for the text color i will provide this and let's increase the text size and let's provide some padding left and right okay and for the ul class let's provide flex okay and now here is another change which is the class name within this link component so previously if we want to provide some classes then we need to provide the anchor tag and then we can wrap that anchor tag within this link tag but now you don't need to do that within the link tag you can provide the class name and other kind of attributes also so here let me provide a margin right so it's looking good and now let me provide a hover color okay so it's looking good and now for the layout here let's provide some padding now for the product page here we can do some api call and here we can use the async function and we can fetch some dummy product from this api like this as we do normally and then we can return it and we can use that here and we can do that by this use hook from react and here we need to pass this get products function now let's console log this thing so here in the products page let's see our console so here in the console we cannot see anything and if we see here in our server terminal we can see we have some response right and that is because by default this is a server component so that's why in our server we can see this response so let's use this and here we can see we have this products response so i can already get this products here and then we can use that so here for the map function of it we will get each product and then we will render this so for the key of it i will provide the product id and then i will provide product title so here we can see the list of item right and now we have another thing which is loading so if we want to provide loader that we can do just simply creating a loading.js file in our root directory this page.js layout.js and loading.js these are the reserved name for the files so for this loading.js it will provide a loader so here i have provided this loading text so here now let's go to this products and here we can see the loading component right so that's how this loading js is working and after that here we can see the list of items which we have displayed here now let's provide link here and here let's open the individual product page so i have provided the link here now let's refresh once here we have the link and now if i click here then we can see this is the url structure we have and obviously we don't have the page so to create that page under this products directory we need to create another directory which will be dynamic so that's why we need to provide the name within the bracket and within it we have this page.js and for this one we can get params and let's return the id with the product text so here we can see we have this product for and as here we have this nested segment so we can create a nested layout here 
and that we can create by creating a layout.js within the root of this path and the layout would be pretty similar to this page.js so i can rename this to layout.js and for the layout we need to change the name and we will receive children so here we need to provide children and let's provide react fragment to wrap it now let's go to a product so here you can see we have this layout and in the layout we have first the list of product and then the product id with the product text and here we can use a div class name to provide some styling so here we can see the product and now if we go to this products page then we cannot see anything because we don't have the pages here so let me quickly create that and here for this one i will provide this text so here we can see that for this products we have this layout and we have this select a product text which is the page.js of the product and then if we select any product we will see the product id now we can provide product details here and that is also similar to this so let me copy it from here and here we will receive the id and that we need to pass here and we can get the product by calling the get product function within this use hook and here we need to pass the id and now let's console log this product so here we can see the output of that particular product in the console and let's use that product title so it's working well and also along with it i want to show you another feature by which we can provide different styling for the active navigation item and for that let me copy this link item and create another file called nav link and here i am going to return it and for this one we will accept href and children so here i will pass children and for this href i will pass href and now i can convert it to nav link and for this nav link text i will provide this home and for the href i can provide this and link is not defined so here we need to import link okay now here if i want to return the href in the console log then here we can see that console log is empty and here we can see the href in our server console which we have already seen previously but for this particular case we need to use the client component and that we can do by providing this use client now let's check here now here we can see the browser console is outputting this console log so that is how a client side component should be it should have this use client at the top of it and now let's implement the active navigation item styling and here we are going to get help from this use selected layout segments and here let's console log this segment so here for this segment we can see this output let's go to home so here for the home we have this blank and for the products we have this products in the segment so now based upon this checking we can get the active so if the href is matching with the segment then it is active otherwise it is not so let's console log that as well and here we can see we have this true and false right so now here i am going to provide a checking if it is active then i will provide this white color otherwise i will provide nothing so now here you can see already as we are on the products page so these products have been changed to white so we have this active navigation styling right so these are the few changes which is introduced in Next.js 13 experimental app and this looks pretty amazing to me and I am looking forward to stable release of this version. So what do you think about this update? Let me know by commenting in the comment section below and if you like this video then hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more tutorials related to Next.js or React.js. So I will see you guys in my next tutorial. In the meantime have a great day. Goodbye.